How deep is your appreciation on God's love? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. A heartwarming legend handed down from the early church conveys about the Apostle of Love. Of the twelve original apostles, only St. John is said to have lived to a ripe old age. In his later years, not only his body but also his eyesight and his mind began to fail him. St. John's mind has deteriorated to the point that He could only speak five words, one sentence, which he would repeat over and over. The legend says that every Sunday, St. John would be carried into the midst of the congregation that had assembled for worship in the church at Ephesus, where he spent the last years of his life. Total silence would fall over the congregation even though they already knew what St. John was going to say. Then the old man would speak the five words, My children, love one another. Over and over he would repeat them until he grew tired from talking. None yawned or gazed off absent-mindedly. The Apostle of Love fed and filled by a deep love of God, preached his five-word sermon over and over. My children love one another. Love is the starting point, the end, and the essence of a Christian life. In today's gospel, Jesus is asking us to be committed. He desires that we love God wholeheartedly. God should be the first and foremost in our lives. However, Jesus also tells us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves as well. Both commandments are challenging. The instruction to love our neighbors as we love ourselves may be more challenging than the first commandment. It often stretches us in uncomfortable ways and situations. We don't always like our neighbor. Our neighbor may be someone who may have wounded us, insulted or kicked us, or ignored us. And the emotion that we experience with this person most likely is far from loving. Yet, Jesus calls us to love each and every person we encounter, the ones we like, as well as the individual we prefer to keep our distance from. Jesus is calling to leave aside our differences, biases, and prejudices, and start replacing them with love. Jesus is also calling us to question ourselves, what are our priorities in everything we do as we tend to overtake unimportant situations over the need for love? The message of Jesus is all-embracing and covers all our relationships, from family, friends, business associates, and even competitors. But it even goes further than that as we are called to love the wider community. Furthermore, since we are currently living in an environment full of political and social tension, Jesus is likewise calling us to practice tolerance and empathy as well as to give and treat everyone with the fundamental dignity of the human person. We face the challenge of loving people who look and act differently, and it is important to recognize that all of us are different. Thus, Jesus' call is indeed encompassing 
to love God above all and to love our neighbor as ourselves. No ifs and buts, no conditions, just pure love, worthy of God's immense love for us that was manifested in His Son Jesus' death on the cross in ransom for our sins. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, teach us to be faithful in loving you and loving our neighbor. In humility, we ask that you empower us with your Holy Spirit, that we may have the yearning and longing to reciprocate your enormous love for us by sharing this love to others unconditionally. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.